Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use an archive program called 7-Zip to break up large files to uh, send an email and to use as a cheap way to back up files. If we go to Google and just search for 7-Z, that's all you have to search for, 7-Z is in Zebra, and click I'm feeling lucky, it will go to the 7-Zip homepage, and you can download the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Uh, it's also available for sev several other operating systems. If we click on the download link, you'll see that it's uh, for Windows, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for Linux, and for other operating systems, Debian, Gentoo, Mac OS 10, even uh, BIOS. So you can download it for that. But most of us use Windows, so you probably want the Windows version. Now I'm going to show you how to use this. I have two directories here. One of these directories has uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just over a gig of files in it. And this one has about 89, uh, we'll say rounded to 90 megs of files in it. Now what we can do is let's say these, this uh, WAV files directory, I wanted to email this to someone. Now, of course, there isn't any email service that's willing to accept 90 megabyte attachments. So we're going to need to break this up into some files to send to our recipient. And I'm going to set this up in the five megabyte chunks. I can simply right click the folder and then there's a uh, 7-zip. This will uh, install to the uh, context menu when you install the program and I can just go add to archive. And uh, what it's going to do is that it will take the folder and name it the name of the zip. Now I'm going to choose the 7-z format so my recipient knows it is a 7-zip and then down here it'll say split in the volumes bytes. Now what I'm going to do is just simply type 5M. M is in mic for 5 megabyte attachments for uh, chunks and I'll hit OK. And then what it's going to do is going to start compressing it into wavefiles.7z. Now if I go back here and you'll notice that I have files being created each one of them 5120k which is 5 megabytes and it's creating them. It's, uh, we'll see how many attachments it would take. It's up to seven of them so far. And when it's done, all of these will equal 90 megabytes. Let me just bring this back up here. Nope. Right now it says there's about 15 seconds to go. Let me just put this into a detailed format. There we go, now we can see them a little easier. Now remember, this is 90 megabytes worth of files, so... Okay, it's done. So we have 16 files, 1 through 16. And to open this with a 7-zip, all we'd have to do is a uh, right-click the first one, 001, because they're all uh, 001 through 016, and then go to 7-zip and say Open Archive. It will combine all of it together, and then we've got the WAV files and there are my WAV files in there and that's the way to do it. Now let me just uh, delete those. Right click and delete. Now this uh, is a podcast directory of the podcasts I've done. There's 1.01 gigs of files in this and let's just say I wanted to break this up into a compact disk format so I can put them on CDs. So I will right click this and go to 7-zip and go add to archive. And then what I will do is split it into 700M because I can fit 700 megs on a uh, compact disc and I'll hit OK. So what it's going to do is going to put all the stuff together and uh, it says it'll take about, yeah, this is going to take significantly longer, but it's going to, that's because it's creating, well, first of all, it's a much larger amount of data, and it's creating much larger files. But as I watch this, if I hit F5 and refresh this, you'll see it's actually creating a file here. When this is done, this will be 700 megs and however more it needs to create in order to get to a, a CD size. And then what I can do afterwards is burn these files individually to CD when I want to retrieve the whole thing later I just grab the files off the CD I take the first one and I right click it 
and I go to 7-zip and I open the archive and that's it and then that's a real cheap easy way to back up 7-zip is free it doesn't cost anything and uh, it's really easy to use if you if you've used WinZip or uh, WinRAR basically they operate the same way 7-zip is very light and it does not require any uh, uh, it does not require a fast or a powerful computer for that matter it will pretty much run on anything that can run Windows uh, XP or even Windows 98 for that matter so try it out it's a real cheap easy way to back up and to break things up uh, break the break large files into smaller files take it easy